Hey there everyone, this is Jackie Van Ham and I am on an adventure to find all the coolest stuff in motorcycling and today we're going to check out a shop that is going to build the bike of your dreams on this episode of Z1R's Downshift. We are here in Waukesha, Wisconsin, just outside of Milwaukee, at a shop that creates what could best be called artwork on two wheels. This is Milwaukee Custom Cycles. Seven years ago, Milwaukee Custom Cycles was opened by Jim Sawaya as a passion project and alternative to his previous career in an office. I've been passionate about motorcycles for decades and uh, built them personally and uh, uh, in my own home and I had a 1200 square foot outbuilding that I used to build them in and uh, my background is in the insurance business and so uh, I was in operations there as a, an executive and uh, a number of years ago just made the decision to do something more passionate and uh, uh, that was about seven, eight years ago we uh, branched out and just decided to open up this shop and do something that I loved more than um, having to work. So it's been a passion. Yeah, this shift from, you know, desk job, bean counting, to actually doing something that you, like you said, you're, you're clearly very passionate about. Correct, you know, I mean, getting up in the morning and raising the, opening the doors and brewing some coffee, listening to some tunes and wrenching was something that um, is much more enjoyable than sitting, as you say, bean counting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you've obviously made a go of it. You've been here for seven years. It just has this really kind of very theme of family oriented. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, the work environment around here on a day-to-day -day basis is, uh, it's enjoyable. You know, working with Alan, um, he sings non-stop and uh, poorly, I might add. But, uh, <laughs> I can't wait. But, uh, you know, we always joke about how uh, entertaining it is to work here, especially with each other. Alan, who is Jim's brother-in-law, also left the office culture for the opportunity to be a partner in the shop. Well, I had a desk job as well. Um, I primarily worked in the hazardous waste business for oh. a career, um, safety and compliance, and always liked working on cars. That was kind of my thing, um, redoing cars. And we would uh, come out and visit uh, Jim being my brother-in-law and married to sisters. Um, so we would come out and visit and when he decided to start in the motorcycle field, I think I've always had um, an idea that I wanted to do something for myself. Um, and we got to talking and I probably had a momentary lapse of reason and <laughs> decided to uh, jump in, if, as they say. and. Uh, you know, here we are. Being a custom shop means being able to do pretty much anything a customer needs. So Milwaukee Custom Cycles is able to do basic service all the way to full custom builds. Well, we do cam upgrades. We do a little bit, you know, uh, big bore kits. I mean, so yeah, we get into it to some degree. We have the full ability to tune bikes, um, you know, so. Uh, we can get into that. We, we, we do pretty much a lot of the stuff in-house. Um, things that we send out is obviously paint work. Uh, we work with two wonderful painters um, that we've had a great relationship with for years. It just makes sense to let them focus on what they're good at and we outsource that. Yeah. Um, we do all powder coating in here, um, parts fabrication uh, we do here, brackets, simple stuff, nothing exotic. Um, but we get into that kind of uh, thing. What that allows us to do, especially when our powder coating, let's say, is you can sit and look at a bike and go, ah, oh, I think that would look, that part would look better. And within an hour, we can have it off the bike, prep, sandblast, and put back on the bike and go, yeah, that didn't work. Let's do something different. And <laughs> so it gives us a little bit of uh, flexibility to be creative. And, uh, and it's very enjoyable to do when you have immediate uh, satisfaction of doing the job and getting it done right then. Jim and Alan bring two different skill sets that allow for balance and success at the shop. Yeah, I think Jim's more of the make it pretty guy and I'm more of the make it work guy. <laughs> right. um, I like to work on 
The mechanics of the bikes, um, I like to troubleshoot and people come in and try to figure out what's going on and why it's going on and try to come up with a good cost effective way of handling their problem. The market has shifted a bit where full custom builds are out of the reach of most. So bike personalization has become a major focus for the shop. What a lot of people want to do now is bring us their bike and personalize it. <clears throat> it's less of a customization as more as a personalization at that point. And we will do whatever, whatever it takes. Bigger wheel, stretch the front end, rake the um, front end or, and stretch the bags and do some audio, different handlebars, whatever. Um, getting into the personalization of bikes was something um, just that the market told us that that's what was needed. Um, people didn't want to spend a fortune. They already had a bike. It might be a little older, not brand new, um, but they wanted, they liked the bike, they knew the bike, it was paid off, and they just wanted to do something to upgrade it and have fun with the bike, make it a little bit more um, personalized to themselves. After seven years and countless bikes coming in and out the door, there has to be some favorites for Jim. What's what's at the top of the list for you when it comes? All to of the them. But, uh, <laughs> but, 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 uh, Anything on wheels. Candidly, I like this bike. This one, this one's one of my personal favorites. Um, it was my personal bike uh, before I sold it, but um, I enjoyed building it because it had no deadline, and it was just I could just play with it and do it as I wanted. And uh, this was one. But there have been so many bikes. Um, there, there's a lots of beautiful bikes that we enjoyed building. Being located near Milwaukee brings access to the motorcycle community, and Jim and Alan have embraced it. We have a great following. We have a great rapport with the bikers and uh, you know all of the clubs and that and we have lists of clients that come to us um, that share that information with their clubs and that because of the good re you know responses that they get from working here and you know coming and bringing their bikes here yeah. um, it's just a good community that community has always been about relationships which Jim and Alan have used as a foundation to a successful business that the ability to you know talk to a customer and tell them that's just out of our wheelhouse and to make recommendations to go other places has gone a long way. And a lot of those customers who have gone and had their bikes serviced um, through that route have come back because they've appreciated. You know, I mean, people like, you know, uh, a good experience, no matter where it is, a restaurant, a department store, whatever, and once you have a good experience, you want to share that with somebody and let them know that your experience was, you know, uh, a good one. After seven years of doing everything from oil changes to complete custom builds, Milwaukee Custom Cycles has established itself for continued success in the future. Um, and we're just now, you know, hitting our stride um, with the type of work we're doing and the people that we're servicing. And maybe once we get that to a point where, you know, we can't go any further, we can talk about other things. But I think right now our goal is to service as best we can and do what we do best. Huge thanks to Jim and Alan, a couple of great guys at a great shop. This is Jackie Van Ham and we'll see you next time on Z1R's Downshift.